Hey, it's another car video. Husband is inside the hospital to get an x-ray done on his abdomen because he had a capsule endoscopy and he has a PET scan coming up. And apparently if the pill, the camera pill is still inside your intestines or wherever it got like trapped, um, the PET scan, MRI, and CT machines can actually pull it out. So it'd be like having metal inside of his body and it would rip it out. So we're probably gonna have to reschedule his PET scan because we haven't seen it pass. So he's here for an x-ray to see where it is left in his body. Um, I haven't done an update in a while. As you can see, my hair is trying to start to grow back as it's also falling out. So I'll probably reshave my head. Um, I'm not feeling too great today. I have an irritated, swollen right side of my throat and I'm really hoping it's just allergies. Praying I'm not getting sick. I have chemo on Wednesday. I took a break last week because my chemotherapy um, infusion room was overbooked and closed because they actually had more people than they had chairs. So I had to schedule mine out. So I got a week off. I've been extremely exhausted lately. Um, I had one good day on Sunday and it was really fun. I had all this random energy that I haven't had in forever and I miss it so much. I had a dance party, karaoke party with my dog. Oh yeah, we got a dog. He is going to be um, trained as a emotional support dog and we're gonna get him certified. Uh, his name is Wookie. He is a Pipple Pointer Boxer Mix. So he's a mutt. He's about a year and a half, we found out. We thought he was two when we were doing our own math, but we found out from the lady that rescued him that he is actually about a year and a half. I'll put his picture in the video so you could see. He's really cute. I'll just put it like right here or something. And um, yeah, life has been kind of rough. We've had a lot of emotional breakdowns with um, thinking about my time because in May it's been two years and I was given three to five so yes we know you never know anyone can die anytime but time goes a lot faster and I really want to be making a lot of memories and doing a lot of things with friends and family. And it sucks because literally I've been so exhausted lately. This is giving me like one giant uniboob. Um, <laughs> it sucks lately. Uh, I'm seriously just so exhausted a lot of the time. Um, the week of New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve, I actually spent the whole day in bed. We didn't do the ball drop. We didn't, we all went to bed around nine. We didn't even do the nine o'clock ball drop because we were very emotional that day. Everybody was breaking down. Um, it, it was a lot. Um, my body was so weak for a couple days. I almost got a walker so I could get to the bathroom back and forth and go get drinks and stuff. My daughter and my husband take very good care of me, but they shouldn't have to do everything. Um, my house, I'm deciding, is fine being partly messy because who cares? I have to let go of a lot of the, I wouldn't call it control issues, 
but I have to be okay and accept that my new normal is not my old normal and that's really hard. I'm in the grieving process of grieving what could have been, grieving how my body and life has changed, grieving my mom still. It hasn't even been a year yet. Um, it's a lot mentally. I have chemo on Wednesday and I'm hoping that this weekend isn't as harsh as the last weekend that I had chemo because again, like I said, New Year's Eve, I was in bed, barely drinking, didn't eat, mostly slept. And then when I tried to get up, my body was so weak, I had to be careful and like hang onto the walls or furniture or something. I'm only 40, you guys. Um, I found this girl on TikTok that is 23 or 24 or something like that. And she has stage three breast cancer. She doesn't have metastatic like me. So not that that matters, but it's more common for under 50 to get regular cancer than it is for people under 50 to get metastatic. Apparently, it's like 3% or 5%. It's something really low that under 50 get metastatic. Um, she's adorable. I love her. Um, anyway, she taught me something that I wish I would have known. So I'm going to teach it to you guys. So if anybody you know is going through this, and you catch and you catch this video way before they start chemo if they want to keep their hair as a wig i did not know this i really wish i would have known this you can shave your head off and send it to this wig company which i will find and share with you guys but you can have your own human hair made into a wig that looked like your hair before you lost it so if you're, if you can handle shaving your head before chemo even starts and you send it into them, they can make you a wig out of your own hair. And this girl taught me that and it's amazing. I wish I would have known, but, um, she wanted more length to her hair cause she had just cut it before she found out that she was going to start chemo. And so she used some of her mother-in-law's hair cause her hair was super long. And um, they blended it together and then they dyed it to her natural hair color and they made it into this awesome wig. I really wish I would have known. But at the same time, being bald really isn't that bad. It is a little cold with the wind and when you forget a hat, I have a hood today, so I'm okay. My hat comes with me. Um, cancer's rough on everybody. Physically, mentally, emotionally. My daughter is starting to have more thoughts about it. So getting her into counseling again, hopefully she'll stick with it this time. Last time she wanted therapy, we got it for her. And then at the third meeting, she was just like, I don't really want to do it and she didn't really talk to them and the doctor told her if she didn't want to do it she didn't have to do it so since she didn't want to do it we canceled and now she wants it again so we're getting that for her um like I said we also got a family emotional support dog we all need him he is a giant giant weirdo you guys he crawls all over our couch like a cat and he's like up on the back of the couch and then loves licking my bald head. I don't know what's going to happen if I ever get my hair back. Is he going to lick my hair? That's weird. I told him he's weird. <laughs> um, I only have a few eyelashes on each eye. So I did fake lashes the other day and they were really fun. But I am not good at the glue eyeliner stuff. 
um yeah just a mixed update for everybody i haven't done one in a while um i'm still alive hey <laughs> um yeah just one day at a time and trying my best to live life when I feel like I'm having a good day. Today feels okay. I'm split on energy, so that means I have to be very careful on what I do. Like I can use a little bit of it, but if I use a lot of it, I'll be down for tonight and tomorrow. And I really don't want to be down tomorrow getting chemo and then be super down because that, that just doesn't sound fun. I don't want to do it. Chemo's rough. Um, what really stinks is I learned that the chemo side effects when you um, go on when you either stop chemo or you go on a long break before you restart another round. Um, your side effects stay with you for six months to a year after to get it all out of your body. So it makes sense, even when I take breaks, why I feel like I'm still on chemo. Um, my, my cancer brain is getting worse. I forget really easily and I always had a really good memory. Um, driving, I've noticed that if I'm tired at all, it's, it's like I uh, react slower. So hopefully I don't need a driver soon. Um, yeah ask me anything. I really don't care. You guys can say the word cancer. It doesn't bother me. You can ask about whatever. Um, I'm trying to think what else I wanted to update everybody on. I hope you all had a good Christmas and a great New Year's. I hope this year is full of love and health, good health. <laughs> and that everybody gets to do something to make some amazing memories this year. I love you all and I will talk to you later. Bye.